Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. So apparently this weekend in uh, the UFC, uh, women's bantam, bantamweight division, somebody, and I'm going to use your quote, got their cable disconnected. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> disconnected is in a word. Um, if, if if I may, but, you know, I know you're in the middle of your intro. Can can I can I share a few things before I let you go please. on? Please, please do. Oh, I heard a lot of this. A lot of this. <laughs> uh huh. And a whole lot of this was received online, mm-hmm. over the internet. It was a whole lot of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a whole lot of that, no doubt, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and she might still be hearing this. Let me ask you, is that the bells <laughs> ringing in the head? Oh yeah, oh yeah. From that 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 this fantastic ass kicking she took, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and and for some some of our listeners out there and people in the chat room, if you're listening and, and you're wondering why me in particular have so much uh, uh, venom? dislike, yeah, venom dislike towards Miss Rousey at this time. Let me let me just let me just take you back a little bit. When she first was coming out and and she was rising to the top, I actually liked not only liked but I also respected chick. You understand? Oh, she's but a then, chick now. <laughs> I actually like and respect the chick. But you know, it got to a point where the hype was just it was just too much. You know, too much seeing you on commercials. Not that I'm hating on it, but I'm just saying, you were just being publicized. I think what did it for me, was the beginning of the end for me was the talk with the uh, Floyd Mayweather and and talk about you beating up uh, men. I mean, not men, but boys in school and stuff like that. You know, and it just, I'm just like, come on, I'm getting tired of you now. Now you're starting to wear on me with this nonsense. And at some point, I'm thinking... Somebody's going to whip that ass. I was hoping it'd be Cyborg, but I guess, you know, she's not going to go up and wait to, to face her because she knows that was a definite ass whip that she would take. So that's what she avoided that one. This young lady, mm. Holly Holm, God bless her. <laughs> I knew very little <laughs> about her. I'm not going front. I knew very little about her, but right. of course, she's a great striker. And, and I see you mm. call out with your hand up. We're going to bring you in very shortly. I see you. Um, and I just was so sad that I get a chance to see it live because, you know, I was sleeping and whatnot. You know, the fight started very late. But yeah. what a great I surprise. You. Yeah, you did text me, yeah. But what a great surprise to wake up to. I woke up, that was one of the happiest mornings I've experienced in a while, to you honestly. You know? <laughs> it really was. I couldn't even believe it. I thought I was dreaming. I had to slap myself in the face a few times to make sure I wasn't dreaming it. But, um... Let me, let me bring the call in, because I, I know he has uh, a lot to say on this right now. Last four numbers is uh, 3704. Brother Hollop, how you doing, my man? I'm good. All right. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. All right, all right. Uh, Peace, I already know. Peace. I, I, I'm just going to give you the floor, because this, this is your topic right here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I I feel like the same way that you did. It's like mm-hmm. um, I think that, and I was telling people, you know, like I think that this is the best thing that could happen to um, Ronda Rousey. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, because. I remember, you remember when I we had spoken about this before? Uh-huh. And I told you all that she has a weakness in her game. Yes. And I said I knew what mm-hmm. it is. Mm-hmm. And it was a stand-up. Right. And mm-hmm. when I found out that she would be fighting, like, when I found out that she lost, it wasn't exactly a shock to me. Okay. Because I've seen this girl before. I've seen Holly Holmes fight mm-hmm. before. And she's a um, a former boxing champ. Right. Right. And if you saw the fight, you can see, you know, it wasn't exactly a boxing match, mm-hmm. but it was a stand. She took a lot of she took a lot of a lot of attributes from boxing and and used them, mm-hmm. you know, like yeah, she did know, a lot of uh, her foot movement. Yes. Um. Playing the angles, mm-hmm. she made Ronda Rousey Countering. look like a child, <laughs> <laughs> like a child. Yeah, no she doubt. she she got so into her head that she just abandoned. Like she didn't even try. Like I think it was like maybe one time I seen her really really try for a takedown. Mm-hmm. Right. Like she thought that she was gonna outbox this girl. I'm like. Yeah. Oh my God! And then did you see the one right before she got knocked out, uh-huh. where she went to throw a left, and the girl ducked, and she yeah. just went oh, missed was, completely. Dude, that was like my yeah. favorite part. That was my favorite. That was part. the best part, right yeah. there. Because you could see literally <laughs> her heart just leave. Yeah. Like she yeah. was done. Done. Yeah. Yeah, man, that that was my favorite part of the match. I was like, and that girl, I'm gonna tell you, if anybody mm-hmm. hasn't seen that fight, please see the fight because people can say whatever they want to about Ronda Rousey, mm-hmm. but I, you know, I feel like um, Holly fought a perfect fight. Mm-hmm. Right. She just executed and did everything right. Right. In that fight. I agree. I agree. You know, I was watching the uh, the replay of it. Uh, and I gotta tell you, she just, she just, just like you said, Holop, executed everything perfectly. I mean, spacing, uh, avoiding, you know, Rousey's strength, mm-hmm. you know, being on the mat. Um, mm-hmm. and, and let me just, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, let me just say something. I was real quick. with you. Oh, okay. Let me just say something real quick. Holop, you saw her weaknesses. Long before this fight, mm-hmm. what the freak <laughs> are these trainers <laughs> thinking, brother? I, I mean, really, are we trying to even improve upon her weakness, or are we just going by, you know, the hype? You dominate. I, you know what? I don't think. When, but looking at that fight, I do not think that that was the game plan of her trainers. I think mm-hmm. that that was on her. Really. Now the only thing I would say is when when she went to her corner after the first round, mm-hmm. dude said something about beautiful. You're doing beautiful. I'm like, what? <laughs> really? No, you're not doing beautiful. She was popping her at will. She yes. had no head movement whatsoever. No. She was just just keeping a a line of target right there to her her noggin. Yeah. And Holly Holm, the difference is between Holly what Holly Holm was doing what anybody else did was. She was letting her hands go. Right. Right. Holly right. Holm was not afraid of her. Right, exactly. Like, everybody else was going in there like, oh, shit, this is Ronda Rousey. Right. Ah. She just went and <laughs> popped her right in her freaking mouth. Exactly. And if exactly. she was doing it at will. Mm-hmm. And like I said, her st- like she, I knew she didn't have a stand-up game. Right. But damn, I, like, when you put her there against a real striker. Right. Like Holly, right? It, her, her stand-up game was exposed. For so sure. she better thank her lucky stars <laughs> that she didn't go against um, Chris Cyborg. Oh my because God! Because Chris Cyborg's yeah. stand-up is is like imagine Holly Holm but mm-hmm. stronger. Right. Right. 
She's well, going to be taking um, multiple shots to the head. Mm-hmm. She's going to get knocked out probably with one punch. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, Holla, if you notice in the uh, in the stare down, I noticed oh. Holly had the same similar look Evander Holyfield had against Mike Tyson. At. Yeah, I'm about to put this on you. For real. I'm, I'm about to put yeah. this on you. See, that's the thing. See, this is the thing that people don't seem to understand uh-huh. is when you got to do all that extra stuff, Yeah. it's because you ain't really confident. Right. right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. going into the fight, if if you saw the weigh-in, where yes. there was a big controversy with the weigh-in. Yes. She went and rushed up on Holly Holm, and Holly Holm stood her ground. She right. didn't punch her. Yep. She just stood her ground, yeah. and and what's her name kind of pulled her arm into her. Right. And then afterwards, she tried to claim that Holly Holm cheap shot at her, or whatever. All that is, and and mm-hmm. it's such it's so exposed Ronda Rousey mm-hmm. to the world, and because everybody caught it. All it was was her needing something to amp herself up. To get into this fight, right? That's all it was. She had she, she this girl Holly Holm was calm, cool, and collected yep. the whole yep. time. Though she never said anything about Ronda Rousey. She even in, and to show you how much of a champion she is, a professional. Right. Here even we go. afterwards, she didn't say nothing about her. Yeah. When the fight after it was over, and they raised her hand. She went and gave her a hug. Right. Said something to her. When they started interviewing her, in all the interviews I've seen, she hasn't said, oh, Ronda Rousey ain't shit, da-da-da. Exactly. hasn't said a word about the girl. Nope. 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 Exactly. Now, now, Ronda Rousey, if Ronda Rousey had actually won, do you think that she would do that? No. Nope. Absolutely not. Oh, also, I, I just want to raise this point for the haters of Floyd Mayweather. He always is very con- congratulatory towards mm-hmm. his opponents after the fight. He's never right. disrespectful. He handles himself like a champion. And, mm-hmm. and you know, Ronda, <laughs> you know, even even on our, uh, you listen to any of our archives, um, and I, I spoke to Cyclonus, and he said, um, just to remind people, he said, if you go back to the archives, mm-hmm. You know, our former host, he said he he and Hollip on numerous shows both said the same thing about um, Ronda Rousey's weaknesses. And I'll agree. Mm-hmm. Stand-up game, boxing game, mm-hmm. not too great. <laughs> you can say that again. I, I, I said that's the understatement of the year. Not only Basically. because, like I said, Holly Holm, I knew that her stand-up game was weak. Mm-hmm. I had no idea it was that bad because yeah. she was just she had no head movement. Holly nah. Holm was just targeting her, yeah, angling she like bopping her at will. <laughs> she was getting tagged. Did you yeah. guys have? Did you guys happen to see that 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 little clip? Uh, well, it's, it's in our group of her. Um, Actually throwing her hands. Did you, you guys happen to check that out? Yeah. You feel what is it? It's like a, yeah. a clip of her, like boxing. You know, like like I guess maybe she's on the way to. Yo, her stand up game, her boxing game is straight hot trash. I was like, it look. You know, somebody had said it looked like um, like she was trying to dance. It was like a dance scene, like like she was like Julia Stiles from from what was that movie? That dancing movie? <laughs> what the hell was that damn movie name? Save the I Last Dance. And it's Save funny because last... she yeah. looks like yeah. Julia Stiles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what Big I mean? Cousin. So, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, oh, I see we got another uh, caller with his hand up. I already know that, who that is. Also, other callers, whenever you want to chime in, please hit one on your dial pad. We'll be bring we'll be sure to bring you in live with us. And uh, you can express your views. So let me bring this caller in. If you guys I don't just mind. want to say one one more thing. Okay. Before he, before he comes in. Okay. Um. I like Ronda Rousey mm-hmm. um, as a fighter. Right. Um. I think she has a great judo background. Probably one of the best mm-hmm. for a woman mm-hmm. or a man. Okay. She's just okay. she's just really good at what she does. Mm-hmm. The thing that really I think that. And I and I echoed like the same thing as as you, Rodney. Yeah. 
I was just getting tired because I think she was actually feeding into her own hype. Right, definitely. I mean, I've heard stuff, like, not only is they they talking about that she's the best woman fighter, mm-hmm. but then they were saying, oh, was well, she, then they started talking about, one guy said that she could beat Bruce Lee, <laughs> um, <laughs> she could beat Floyd Mayweather. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, Let's come on. calm I'm, it yeah. down. Calm I'm, it down. Yeah, the girl has only had mm-hmm. 12 fights. Right. Calm it down. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> and when I saw Holly Holm, um, and I and I saw her fights, and I seen mm-hmm. her technique, I said it would not shock me at all if she kicks this girl's head off. Right. And that's exactly what oh, happened. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. R- Ronda <laughs> Rousey said that herself on Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Yeah. She, well, she basically <laughs> broke down how she was going to lose. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, listen, I got another call as well, but I'm gonna bring this guy in. Uh, last four digits is 2384. Welcome to In the Paint. Introduce yourself and where you're calling from. <laughs> Gentlemen, what's going on? What's up? Hey, hey, I know that voice. Call from Queens. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> e, I recognize that call. voice. E, what up, bro? Uh, not much, man. Not much. Dude. Just just waiting in the line to talk to you guys. And okay. you know I never have an opinion, so I had to just you know come up with one for you guys. You know? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. I had to dig one out of the basement for Yeah, you, we got to get him out of his shell. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's my biggest problem. I'm too much of an introvert, you know. I don't, I don't talk enough. <laughs> uh, hey, let me hear. What, what do you have to say on the situation, E? Uh, I'll, I'll put my two cents in this. I, I, I hear what you're saying about, you know, you, you're talking about, about Ronda Rousey's stand-up game not being good. But I'm, I'm going to throw a different angle at you. Okay. Okay. Here we're talking about a person. Let's say it's Ronda Rousey or any other professional fighter of any kind. It doesn't even have to be mixed martial arts, but any okay. kind. Okay. A professional fighter. You would think, the logic would dictate that it behooves you as, as, a, per, as a professional fighter mm-hmm. to study your opponent. Right. Fighting is not like football. You don't have a fight every week. It's not like right. basketball. You don't have a fight every three days. Right. Or like hockey. You know, it's, it, you have time to prepare for your opponent. Mm-hmm. Now, if you are a person of even reasonable intelligence and you have even the slightest amount of self-awareness, you should be somewhat cognizant of your own strengths and weaknesses in your game. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I think the best fighters always are. They know, okay, well, I'm really good at this particular thing, but I need to work on this because this is not, you know, really up to snuff. And right. then you take that and overlay that with a study of your opponent and you come up with a strategy. Okay. Now, that's right. what an intelligent fighter does. So to say, oh, well, her, her stand-up game is garbage, I would agree with you. It looked that way. You know, I, it, it certainly <laughs> came across that way. But I'd say that <laughs> – you're going to find an argument for me on that. But i say that there's an even bigger problem there than that. It's okay. not just that her stand-up game wasn't any good. Mm-hmm. It was, why didn't she know this ahead of time? She knew she, she did. was going to fight. Well, if she did, then why did she do anything about it? Mm. I don't know. Like you born with it, a it, DNA that says you can't box. It's a learned skill. Now, granted, right. talent comes in, and some people are naturally better than others, but yes. all that does is reduce the amount of time it takes to get good. It doesn't put a cap on how good you can be. Okay. So right. if she knew that, that she was going up against a, a stand-up fighter and that her game wasn't up to snuff, she should have done something about that. That's true. Mm-hmm. She, and, and to she, me, that's a much bigger wish... problem. I wish I could have uh, downloaded her own words of her saying that on on Jimmy Fallon's show because she 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 said that she said um yeah she's gonna try to goad me into doing this and doing that but I'm not gonna fall for that and I'm gonna win blah 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> and you so know, basically, she's admitting the fact that she put no work into this fight. They, okay. Is what she's saying. Right. That's what I because believe. that's what it tells me. That because I, I take this analogy, take it over to football. Right. You know, you got a football team who's doing well. You know, they're they're undefeated. Eight, you know, halfway through the season, mm-hmm. they come up on an opponent. They don't even study the opponent. They don't even care who the opponent is. All mm-hmm. they're worrying about, they're looking at their own tape, and they're hyping themselves up. And then they get there, and they're completely unprepared, and they get their ass handed to them. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, who are you going to? Or, <laughs> or how about this? You know, y'all know I play basketball. Um, Things yeah, I've done rumor. and th- things I've seen people do is talk people out of their game. Oh, you you can't shoot. 
let me see you shoot. I know you could drive, but let me see you shoot. And mm-hmm. wow, they that do actually that. works. And yes, it still does. <laughs> and um, <Damn. laughs> and you know, getting back to her on Jimmy Fallon, she 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 said that she said she knew what Holly was gonna try to do, and and mm-hmm. like like you said, Eric, she. She just didn't. She didn't prepare, and and her her corner is horrible. If you you know, like Holly said, they they told her, "Yeah, you're looking good, champ." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't that the swift way to get knocked out when when you know exactly. when That's when everybody sees point. you're not doing well? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I I mean, I've never been a professional fighter, obviously, but if I were to go down that road, I would think that I would want a corner that would tell me the truth. Right. If right. I'm screwing up, I need to be told that. Right. You know. Right. The whole point of having a corner is that they're objective. They're not in the middle of it. They can see from a distance what you're yeah. doing and not yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I remember yeah. Uh, uh, there was a fight. It was a championship fight, and Olive knows. Um, we watched it together. This guy was a champ, and he was losing. So his his corner, they were trying everything. Finally, the trainer was like, yo, if you don't start throwing your hands, you're going to lose. And, he, oh. you know, every and as it as it got know, towards like, the oh. end of the fight, he wound up cursing the dude out. He said, yo, you got me here on national TV, and they're going to take your title because you won't let your hands go. You losing, and the guy lost. He didn't listen to his corner, and the corner, corner man told him the truth. Well then, you know what? Then he stupid is a stupid does then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just a far as comfortable at that point. You know? Right. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Well, let me see. I, I think there's one line. What was that damn? What was that line again? Oh, uh, Hal, if you remember this, uh, did you meet your maker? <laughs> mm-hmm. What? <laughs> You know, like I don't. Do you, did you guys see the way, um, the way in? Yeah, I you saw see it. that whole thing. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. She was like, when if you look at that way in and you listen to her mm. and her talking, she was really emotional. She couldn't hardly even talk. She was so mm. I don't know what was going <laughs> on, but she tried to. She she definitely tried to change things up because she didn't want to go into this fight just right. normally. Like she had to, she, and this girl is like so humble. She had to try to find some way to get some drama into the fight. Exactly. So she can amp mm-hmm. herself up. If, I guess she figured if I'm angry at this bitch, maybe mm-hmm. then I'll fight her. Right. And I'm Ronda Rousey, so she just that. automatically thought she said, "Oh, I'm a whoop her ass. You, you mm-hmm. a fake bitch." Da 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 da. <laughs> she went in there, and that ponytail hit that canvas so hard. <laughs> <laughs> the sonic boom on the way down. And, and, yeah. and then, and then I want to, I want to, I want to address Coach for a second, if you don't mind, gentlemen. Uh, Coach, okay. did, remember, I, remember I told you about that hate. Well, you know, if it, if it wasn't even, you know, if it wasn't there, I'll tell you when it really kicked in. How about the 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 the, the uh, you know, when you tap the gloves and and this and this broad walks away, you know, after home puts her head, yeah, her gloves out. And she just like gives a, a mean glare and just walks away. I'm like, look at this. You know what I'm saying? Come on, seriously. And that's why, in the great words of of, of Mr. Chisnora, the heavyweight boxer, she got glassed, mate. Yeah, she got glassed. She got glassed. That's right. <laughs> See, and I don't think, I don't, and I think that all of this is really deserved because when you put yourself out there like that, mm-hmm. and you and you make yourself out to be, it's just like in what you remember that movie, um, White Men Can't Jump. Woody Harrelson <laughs> said to to, right. to um Wesley and Wesley Snipes. He said, "I'm I'm look at look at me and see how I look. I look like a bum. If I lose, who cares? I right. like I'm supposed to lose. Right. But if you mm-hmm. lose, oh my God, it's like <laughs> that's an extinction level event. <laughs> you made yourself out to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. Exactly. That's what happens, and especially yeah. so if you're gonna see people." allowed her to get away with certain things because, first, she's a woman. Second, she was winning. Right. Right. You know, <laughs> she was winning and she was able to back it up. 
Mm-hmm. So, but once they, but even in her backing it up, people just had a bad taste. She left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth with her yeah. behavior. Yeah. Like she just didn't behave as a champion. And no. I think that this girl behaved like a champion. Yep. She well, behaved like a champion from the beginning of the um, fight all the way to the end and afterwards. She never said, never put her down, never said anything about the girl, even after the weigh-in for that fiasco. Mm-hmm. Said nothing. Let, just let went me, in there me, oh, looking calmly. And yeah, just I, 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 I agree 100% ass. with everything you just said, but I have a hypothesis about that because mm-hmm. I've been watching her since the first fight she had in, 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 uh, w, in UFC, rather. And she wasn't always like that. That that's actually a more recent. No, she was the yeah, last three or four I fights. Agree. And I, I agree. tell you who I think is behind this because this is a pattern of behavior. I think that's Dana White, yep. the guy who right. owns the UFC. Right. He's trying to turn this into the WWF, mm-hmm. and he's got this whole bro culture going on with these with this frat boy mentality mm-hmm. that he's trying to push. And he, I think, actively pushes these athletes to do that because I don't think that's right. the real her. I'll be quite honest. Right. I, mean, I could be wrong. It's just a speculation mm-hmm. on my part. No, but you're right. Right. I don't you're think right. that's really right. her. I think he because if people that remember, years and them, look, we if people remember, cash. he was the one that brought Floyd into it. And she didn't do it. He was the yeah, one that did that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's out there stirring the pot because he knows that controversy equals money. Right. In this in this sport, right. that's what it's all about. It's controversy. You know. Well, also, I, I Eric, what a lot of that. what what about when when uh. Uh, what was it John Jones when he fought the other other dude? Uh, I think his last fight. I forget the guy Stops. he fought. Uh, oh, you're about, uh, the, the, you're about the, the black dude. Right? The, oh, the oh, other oh, black uh, guy yes, he fought. Daniel yeah, Cormier. Um, yeah, Cormier. Yeah, and they yeah. they they uh you know everybody who saw what went on before the fight like they had mm-hmm. a mini brawl. You know, right. in one of the press conferences, and a lot of people yep. said that was fake. Right. I believe it was fake. Hmm. Honestly, and, I, I, and, I think it was fake. I think it was complete nonsense. Right. You know, I think that, that uh, you know, I, I honestly think that Dana White believes that he, mm-hmm. in order to make more money, he has to have theatricality and nonsense mm-hmm. like that going on because he's trying to bring that whole WWF mentality to it. Right. Which is okay. fine for the WWF because it's entertainment. Yeah. But this is sports. It's athleticism. You know, I, I to me, I, I've never been a fan of that nonsense. The only person to me in the world, and I could be biased because I grew up watching him, but the, mm-hmm. to me, the only person who pulls that off well is Muhammad Ali. You know, Muhammad Ali was my idol when I was a kid because, because you know, he did it strategically. Right. You know, it wasn't just about bravado. It was about he got inside his opponent's head and it actually worked. Yeah, you know, and you could tell that because you could see the difference in how he treated Frazier from how he treated everyone else. Hmm. You know, and he knew that didn't work on Frazier, and it's like at some point he just gave up on it. But you know, he, he, I thought with Ali was very strategic. Everyone else, they just I don't know, (laughs) blowhards. Do do you also think, um, Eric, that um, Dana White is doing this to to compete with boxing because? According to the MMA heads, MMA has taken over boxing. I'm like, not really. <laughs> I don't know that it's really the same demographic, to tell you the truth. I, I don't think it it's the same. No. It isn't, I, I don't but, so. but boxing is still worldwide. Well, um, yeah, it is. I can't, I it can't is. say that for MMA right now. Well, it's trying. I never could right. understand the comparison to begin with because mm-hmm. it's like saying, Football is taking over basketball. It, it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's too. It's, yeah, it's that's nobody true. like the like. I I agree with Eric. Is that mm-hmm. it's two different demographics, right? Of course. You know what I mean? Like, like it does, and also like just on a if you was to compare the two, um, there's nobody that I can think of in MMA with a stand up game like a boxer has. Well, that's that's just just yeah. on that level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't seen anybody really throw their hands. Like now, Holly Holm it was a professional boxer and she was a champion. Mm-hmm. Right. You know. Right. I wasn't, so anybody, um... so we can throw that in there. If anybody out there was thinking 
Did Ronda Rousey could throw hands with Floyd Mayweather? Uh, I think that discussion is over. <laughs> well, that that well, was never I, I a discussion. On that. A realistic if, if you kept discussion. it to strict boxing, you're right. But if you took the boxing gloves off and said anything goes MMA style, I don't know about that. <laughs> That's well, just, right. See, seeing, seeing, she's how, in her uh, element. seeing how her defense was against, you know, straight up um, um, fighting, like in, 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 with the hand skills, oh, that's I good. still wouldn't give her yeah. that much because she's still got to get you on the ground. Yeah. Ultimately, yeah, yeah. she's a judo chick. she got to get you on the ground. Mm-hmm. she got to grapple with you, put you down, and once she gets you down, then it's pretty much a wrap. But right. yeah. there's a lot that's that goes true. on before they get you down. Well, I mean, she made the mistake that you see boxers make. And, you know, you, you think about boxing history. You think about, you know, and this is something I was talking with Mark about yesterday. Uh, it, there's, like, certain fundamental theories of boxing, just like any other sport or any other, you know, tactical endeavor. And one of the fundamental theories of boxing is if you're going up against someone who has, you know, defensive skill, you can't just bum rush them. You have right. to break down their yeah. defenses first. You can't just go up, run up on them because the the thing about having good defense is, is that it's counter it, it counters things. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it counters offense. So, you know, when Ronda Rousey was rushing up on Holly like that, she fell for the number one trick in the book in boxing, which was don't bum rush a defensive boxer. Right. You know? Yeah, and she I'm got a, I'm a, through use of spacing. I'm a step and aside and, and tag you. Yeah. Yeah, she. I mean, when I was watching yes, when I was watching their fight, the thing that amazed me was that it, Holly fought in a way that made her look as though she had a reach advantage when she really didn't, because right. their stats were almost identical. So she had the same reach as as Ronda Rousey. Mm-hmm. From watching it, the eyeball test to me it looked like she had like a four or five inch reach advantage because Ronda couldn't get inside of her, and that's all skill. That's boxing. Yep. Yeah. And this is the point that I tried to make about. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, that if if Floyd Mayweather, like the, the, Floyd Mayweather is, is, is accused by a lot of people of running. That's what they say. Well, he runs, so he can't win. I'm like, well, then every boxer is taught how to cut off the ring. If running is mm-hmm. what makes you a champion, then why don't I get in there and fight? <laughs> and why don't you cut off the ring if he's yeah. running? Right. If you like, if, if you say that he's running, a, a good boxer can cut the ring off, trap you in a corner, and knock your head off. Why don't they do that to him? If that's all, he, if that's the only thing that defines him is that he just runs, he's scared to fight, <laughs> but yet he's won forty nine fights. Come on, man. I, I have a guy on my, my in our group. He said Lloyd isn't much of a fighter. He's just a defensive guy, and then he called him a. Mm-hmm. Pity patter. I said, right. well, if he's pity patting, why don't they walk through him? And like I said, it's so hypocritical because um, they turn right around and then say, like I use the example of when they say, what if Mike Tyson was to fight Muhammad Ali? And everybody universally says, well, Ali is going to dance. He's going to run. He ain't going to just stand there. Like, oh, so wait a minute. <laughs> you, you understand the concept when it comes to that. But then when it comes to Floyd Mayweather, it's a different story. Right, and you know what's gonna, you know what they gonna say right after that, Mark? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually what happens, basically. Oh uh, yes, universal retort of the mindless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have nothing intelligent to say, so therefore I'm gonna resort to ad hominem attacks. Exactly. And you, 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 you beat on exactly. my argument. Yep. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man, I tell you, you guys are hilarious. 